Hey, did you hear about NASA's Roman Space Telescope? It just hit a major milestone. They're almost done building all the main parts, and now they're getting ready to put it all together. It's like a giant puzzle, and they're about to fit the final pieces. This thing is going to be incredible. It's NASA's next big thing, you know, like Hubble? But get this, it's going to be way more powerful. It can see the same level of detail as Hubble, but it can see a much wider area of space at once. It's like having 100 Hubbles all working together. They're planning to launch it by May 2027, and it's going to do some amazing science. It's going to help us understand how the first galaxies formed, find new planets, and maybe even discover life beyond Earth. It's going to be epic. Okay, so this telescope has two really cool gadgets on board. The first one is called the Wide Field Instrument, or WFI for short. It's basically a super powerful camera with a whopping 300.8 megapixels. This thing can see a huge chunk of the sky at once, and capture light we can't even see with our own eyes, like infrared. It's like a regular camera but on steroids, and it can even help us figure out what those faraway objects are made of. The second gadget is the Coronagraphic Instrument, or CGI. This one's a bit more specialized. It's like a high-tech shield that blocks the glare from stars so we can see the much dimmer planets orbiting them. Imagine trying to spot a firefly next to a giant spotlight. Oh, that's what this thing can do. It's pretty cutting edge and will help pave the way for future space telescopes to find even more planets around other stars. The Roman mission is poised to revolutionize our understanding of the universe by tackling some of the most profound questions in cosmology and exoplanet research. At the heart of its objectives is the mysterious force known as dark energy files. Complementing the European Space Agency's Euclid mission, Roman aims to uncover whether the accelerated expansion of the universe is driven by a new form of energy, or if it's a sign that general relativity doesn't hold true on cosmic scales. Is this energy density constant throughout space and time, or has it evolved over the eons? To probe these enigmas, Roman will employ three powerful techniques, observing baryon acoustic oscillations, distant supernovae, and weak gravitational lensing. But that's just the beginning. Roman will embark on an unprecedented census of exoplanets, bringing us closer to answering whether we're alone in the universe. How common are solar systems like our own? What exotic worlds exist in the cold, outer reaches of star systems? What factors determine the habitability of Earth-like planets? Using the groundbreaking method of gravitational microlensing, Roman can detect exoplanets with masses, only a few times that of the Moon. It will even identify free-floating planets, potentially down to the mass of Mars, wandering the galaxy without a host star.